So I'm going to begin with a, with a poem that invites me, and I hope invites the reader, to look at things essentially, to look at things for what they are and what they mean. And we often talk about poets being weird and odd. I don't like that. I think we try to be the sanest, that a poem is the sanest expression of reality. At least that is what we strive for. Yeah. Um, so this is called Invitation. Imagine one magnolia in the yard, a solitary grass beak out of reach on a solitary branch, the season's final archive of ascent. Imagine that it drops a leaf. Your glance catches it, forgoes the arbor and the drift wing and the extent to which you live to reconcile the iris with one sky, one tree, one mortal bird. Intent. It's all about intent. As with the eye, no more surveyor but a lover in the momentary light, or with the moon drawn resolute when tugging at the mist, the immaculate lagoon, the girl in mid-discovery. At last she stirs, full weight on little feet, her focus on the door, how green each word outside her room. <laughs> 